Hi friends, it's been a while that I've put out something. It's because we've been quite busy with a lot of things, especially with regards to some of the challenges we are facing in this industry, which is the beekeeping industry in Nigeria. One of such challenges and the one that we have been working on assiduously over the past years now uh, is the late colonization of beehives. All beekeepers in Nigeria knows this, that we usually, uh, whenever a new hive is being baited, it takes maybe an average of six, seven, or eight months at times, on average maybe seven months, before a particular hive colonizes. But over the years, we've been doing some kind of research or researches uh, trying to study the biology and behavior and some physiology of the bees and this uh, glory be to God Almighty we have been able to come up with something that is quite uh, eco-friendly that is very effective and uh, within a couple of weeks say three weeks you have a colonized hive immediately after baiting this late colonization of bees has actually led to uh, has, uh, led to some retirees getting frustrated out of this beekeeping industry. And also some uh, young graduates who out of passion decided to do some things to make get their ends dirty with beekeeping but they later got their ends burnt as a result of uh, this late colonization of the eyes. And here in Agra Farms, we decided that uh, we must try to see what we can do to contribute towards a sustainable beekeeping in Nigeria. And uh, we, are not, we have not been able to come up with what we call the bee catch. This bee catch, what it does, it could be in a pack like this, or in a pack like this, whatever pack it comes with is just one per, per hive. You use this one per hive, the one per hive. And how it works is that uh, we, whenever it's opened now and you're about to use it for baiting, the moment you open it and there is any worker bee uh, passing by or flying by, she decides she usually definitely will want to branch because there is a stimulatory, a feeding stimulant in, in this product which and everything used to make this product is in, they are all natural products and they are eco-friendly. So the moment she now branches to have a taste or have a bite of whatever we are putting down here, uh, she, after she ingests it and after absorption into her system, there is usually a biochemical reaction within our system. And this biochemical reaction definitely leads into uh, stimulating the nasonov, the nasonov gland. This gland is usually situated beneath the, uh, the abdominal tergite number six, at the abdominal tergite six of the honeybee. So, when this uh, nasonov gland gets stimulated, the next thing is now for the nasonov pheromone to be released. Nasonov pheromone is released immediately uh, by the bee. What she does is that she just try to depress a bit her abdomen, and she start releasing the nasonov pheromone through uh, the at the bottom of the uh, of that portion of her abdomen, and so the moment that start oozing out, she start fanning, she start fanning the pheromone, the nasonov pheromone. And this, mind you, this pheromone is usually for orientation, for it helps other bees, other worker bees, bees foragers, be it uh, scout bees. So the moment they perceive it, they get oriented and directed towards where, towards the food source. That's the reason why I said the first thing is like a food stimulant. So by the time they receive that stimulation, they come over here again. The same process is now being repeated on what, whichever bee that comes. As they come, they also repeat such. And we have accumulation of national pheromone within the enclave of the eye. And 
this will now lead the the scout bees to go go over back to their uh, their board and tell their queen say, my dad be like say there is a better accommodation for us somewhere, and uh, it's really smelling like like bees the environment. So why not let's leave? The mother will now say, okay, let me send other scout bees to accompany you to witness what is happening over there, whether the place will be conducive or not. So what when the scout bees that comes along with now, they will now assess the location and they will now say, okay, they now report back to the queen to now tell her, say, okay, the accommodation is conducive, it's better than the cracks of the mountain we are, it's better than the hollows of trees that we are at the moment, so let's just move. And if the colony is a heavy one, the feral colony is a heavy one, they just decide to divide it into two and uh, some of them will now swarm into the eye. So usually, that's the reason why usually it takes within almost immediately to maybe like three weeks, then the eye gets colonized. So no more waiting till months and months and months expecting that a particular eye get colonized. So that is the main essence of bee catch. We have tried it in different locations in Nigeria. We have tried it in savannah regions. We have tried it in the river, Rhine creeks. Oh, in those days, we have tried it in uh, in Meko, in Shagamu, in Odeda, in Ogun State. We have tried it in Oyo, Oshogbo. We have also tried it in Kogi State. I'm part to be specific. I'm part to be specific. We have tried it somewhere in Nasarawa, very close to Abuja. And we have tried in in so many other places, and uh, which reports have shown that is really working. So that's the reason why we are introduced this product called the bee catch for any beekeeper or a would be beekeeper interested in tending beekeepers who might be willing to venture into the industry. So because this industry is still really a gold mine in Nigeria, we have millions, thousands, and millions of bee colonies, feral colonies in the country, but yet they are still yet untapped. So I will now implore us to now, I want to demonstrate how it can now be used. The application is very simple. It's not a difficult procedure at all. So here is it. Here is the material. So the first thing you just have to do is to spread it like this. You spread it like this. You spread it. Then we start applying in some vital parts. You can just pick a bit like this, you apply it, pick another bit like this, you apply it. So it's very easy to use. You can pick another bit like this, just spread it as if you are spreading butter over your bread. It's just too quickly attract the bees so scoop a little and just spread it is an eco-friendly product and it's not harmful to the bees neither is it harmful to you, the environment So you leave the second one just there on the ground, just in the hive. You don't just leave it. This one we are just taking part of it to to smear some vital part, important parts in the hive. So we can also drop. You can look for some hive entrance and drop some towards the hive entrance like this. Then you cannot leave the remaining. Then we now have another one. 
So what we now do with this, because some of the materials we use are just plant materials. We extracted some of these things from plants. So it's a natural product. So you just use part of it to smear your tubers or your uh, your frames like these or tubers as the case may be depending on the kind of hive you are using. Continue like this. So let's drop the remaining in the hive. And that is just it. So we are going to wait here for another 10 minutes so that we can see some of the results of what we have just done. So that we can see for ourselves that within 10 minutes we start seeing the bees coming, trooping in. And you will see the reaction I told you about. Then we just advise that in a couple of days, say three days, go back to come back to your hive and you observe that the population will be increasing. So within a week, two weeks, three weeks, you have a full-blown colony. So you can see just within a couple of minutes, just about seven to ten minutes, the bees have started humming around, they've started coming. But uh, like I said earlier, you can just come back maybe in three days, come and you watch them, you discover that they have increased in population. So in a couple of weeks, say week two, maximum of three, you'll have had a full bloom colony. But on one condition, we have to note this, that uh, ants are major pest of honeybees too. So make sure you protect your hive against this particular bee pest, I mean pest of the bees, which is, and especially the Argentine ants, those brown red ants that we call, uh, locally call sugar ants. These ants are very troublesome. Whenever they find their way into a particular eye, a beaded hive, they send the bees away. So let's make sure that we prevent our hive against infestation of these ants, especially the Argentine ants. And I think maybe in a couple of videos that will still come later, we are going to discuss how to control our bee colonies against different kinds of bee pests. Thanks for watching.